Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so today, in our today's show, we are going to be talking about the kingdom of God. Uh, so, uh, Sister Edith, tell us uh, how do you define the kingdom of God or what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is the rulership of God in the hearts and lives of the believers. So, before we go on to the just try to simplify it to our viewers. Uh, how many kingdoms do we have? There are two kingdoms the kingdom of the light and the kingdom of the darkness. Yes! Maybe, maybe some of the room gets a uh, Can we try to define what is the kingdom of the light and what is the kingdom of the darkness? The kingdom of the night is the kingdom of the night of God, and the kingdom of the night is the kingdom of the day. Oh, wonderful. So, tell us, what was the method of Jesus Christ? In Mark 1, verse 14 to 15, now after John was put in, Jesus went to Galilee, preaching the In Matthew 6, verse 33, and seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. <laughs> Also in Luke, so he mentioned something about the kingdom of God. Can you maybe share us, share with us? It would say that after this, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus traveled about from one town and village to another, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him. Oh, wonderful. Someone to be the kingdom of God. How can it become, how can it become, how can it enter into the kingdom of God? They need to honor the Lord, give their lives to Christ. Let me support what you're saying. Do you have any scripture about it? The Bible and the book of John, something that we went to talk about that in the name of the book. In John 3, verse 3, Jesus, in reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. In three, in John three, verse one, Jesus answered, "I tell you the truth: No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and of spirit." Thank you.